Hey friends and welcome back to another video of the quadratic equation playlist. In the previous video, we had solved the first question that is x square plus x minus 20. And in today's video, we will be solving the second question. So let us move on. The equation over here is x square plus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. The step one for solving uh, the equation is that the coefficient of x square should be 1. And in our case, the coefficient of x is already 1. So we are not going to make any changes. We will uh, directly move to the step 2, which is we have to uh, apply the formula that is half into coefficient of x, the whole square. The coefficient of x over here is 2. Now we will substitute uh, it with 2. And we get half into 2, the whole square. 2, 2 will get cancelled and we get 1 square, that is 1. So we have to use this one in such a way that uh, we can change the equation and we can solve it. But at the same time, we don't want to change the meaning of the equation. So we will be adding as well as subtracting one. So the meaning of the equation will not change because it is a plus one and minus one give which gives zero. And uh, when we substitute plus one and minus one, we will be able to solve this equation as well. So let us see how it uh, goes. We have x square plus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. Now you have to remember that in this method, uh, we have to split the equation in two parts. The first part is going to be your variables and the second part is going to be your constants, that is the number. The uh, variables will be getting the positive part of the number and the constants will be getting the negative part of the number. So we have x square plus 2x plus 1 and we have minus 5 minus 1. So you can see that the plus 1 is given to the variables and minus 1 is given to the numbers. Now this equation, this part of the equation is a square plus 2ab plus b square. And we have to reduce this into a plus b the whole square. To reduce this, what we have to do is we have to take the square root of the first term, sine of the second term and square root of the third term, the whole square, which gives us square root of the first term then we have sine of the second term, then square root of the third term, the whole square. So you can see square root of the first term is x square, which gives us x. Square root of the third term is 1 and the sine of the second term, that is 1. And over here, we have minus 1 minus uh, 5, we get minus 6. And minus 6, we can write it as root 6, the whole square. Because root 6 into root 6 is equal to 6 itself. So now we will send this uh, root 6 to the right hand side and we get x plus 1 the whole square which is equals to root 6 the whole square. Now since we don't want the squares, we will uh, directly remove the squares. So taking square roots on both sides, we get x plus 1 is equals to plus or minus root 6. Now this thing you have to remember that whenever you are taking the square roots from a number, uh, whether it is a uh, integer, it is a root, you have to make sure that you add plus and minus because that number can either be a positive number or it can be a negative number. But if that number is uh, having a variable like this, it is a linear equation, then we do not uh, add plus and minus. If it is a single number, then we will be adding plus and minus. Now, since it is a plus and minus, we will be getting two equations. One is x plus one is equals to plus root six and the other is x plus 1 is equals to minus root 6. And now we will send plus 1 to the right hand side. And uh, it becomes x is equals to root 6 minus 1. And this it becomes minus root 6 minus 1. Now since these two equations uh, we cannot solve it further. Which means that these two are the roots of the given equation. So x is equals to root 6 minus 1. And minus root 6 minus 1. Uh, these two are the roots of the given equation. So I hope uh, it is very much clear to you how to solve a quadratic equation using the completing square method and how to uh, find the answer easily. If you all have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section and for more such videos, stay tuned and study with me.